It's your boy Lozo, and you're tuned in to the Algorithm Podcast. What's up? We own him! We're just Ethan! Leave us alone! Yeah! We shoot this door! You like that, baby? Let him know where I came from, yeah! Son of a bitch, Paul, why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Give me my ball! Give it here! Pop it up, you dirty bastard! I swear to God, I'll rip it out of you! Give me the... Ah! You're gonna die, clown! <laughs> you think that's funny? I don't hear you laughing! Welcome to episode four of the welcome, Algorithm welcome. Podcast. What are we laughing for? I'm laughing at me. It's <laughs> crunching. <laughs> That's all right. It's got to be it part of the episode. I think it sounds a lot louder than it is, yeah. too. Oh, it's Sorry, great. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's, perfect. perfect. Yeah, it's perfect background noise. Family-friendly episode today on the all Algorithm this. Podcast. All the babies. This is why we named the show the Algorithm Podcast. I just realized in my notes, I, I, I titled it Adam Sander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Algorithm Podcast, today's episode, Mr. Adam Sandler. Stop looking at me, Schwan. Yeah, probably the uh, greatest comedic movie run ever. Oh, it's, I agree. I, I don't, definitely agree. I don't think anyone's close. No. You can maybe say feral, but... There wasn't enough volume for Farrell. Not only that, but one of the most genuine human beings yeah. that touched fame there yeah. ever was. Yeah, I was talking to Todd today about Adam Sandler. He was like, "Man, he was like, this guy just seems too perfect." He was like, "What's?" He was like, "There's, we have to be missing something." I'm like, "No, this dude is just are, like, man. like God sent." And Walks. that's a beautiful man. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing about his like all of his movies too. Is like, there's not a miss, but there's always like that heartfelt moment that makes it almost like to where it's not just a comedy you know what i mean so like every and like i said there's just not a miss man from the beginning of his career till now man like even as he's got older he made just like the more family friendly movies like some of my best memories as a young kid and even like a teen was like adam sandler movies yeah, yeah. what's what's our uh favorite adam sandler movies man. let's uh let's go around we can I already know what yours is. We can start with <laughs> Mrs. Erica. My favorite is definitely Fifty First Dates. It's a yeah, sure. I Miss love that movie. It's can watch movie. it on repeat. Oh, there's my baby, Mrs. Uh, Drew Barrymore. She's a beautiful woman. You want to talk that Adam Sandler? I shit? will I'll agree. Get, I'll, get in, I'll, right I'll get into this you. Drew Barrymore shit. I like Fifty First Jeez. Dates. I will go. Little Nikki. Little Nikki. Uh, Little Nikki. Again. And, th- mm. and this is the thing with all these. There's like so many of them just in, in a flesh. row. It's like I could make an argument for probably five or six of them. Probably between like Waterboy, um, uh, Happy Gilmore, Big Daddy, Billy Madison, Big Daddy. Probably those four right there in my top. I had a so you know maybe if there's some younger ones watching, there used to be this thing called DVDs and. <laughs> They used to have like the double and triple sets, and I had oh, uh, yeah. me and my brother. Me and my brother shared a room when we were younger, and literally every night we would fall asleep to some of the same movies, and that was one of them we would throw in was the that that triple disc of Big Daddy, um, Happy Gilmore, and uh, Billy Madison. The Family Dollar five dollar pack. Yeah, every time, <laughs> yeah. back then they were like thirty probably. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite movie, Mrs. Tiffany? Big Daddy. Big Daddy. And yeah. see, that's that's, that's, that's my number two. See, and that's, that's my like I'm, I can't I can't even like rank those. Those are probably just all just like on a pedestal to me. But, yeah. Um, Big Daddy is like one of those ones, man. It's like it's so funny, but it, like they they put that that spin on it to where it's like there, there's like heart jerking moments in that movie, man, and it's just such a great movie. One thing about a lot of his movies is they have those heart jerking moments, mm-hmm. even the funniest ones. Even the funniest. But there's so many one liners. Oh in yeah. All of his yeah. movies, like how much, like we can quote big. We do it all the time. Oh, yeah. We can quote Big Daddy yeah. all day long. Yeah. I can't wait to show you guys this trivia. I and can't I, wait, bro. <laughs> just like I remember the first time watching Big Daddy, 
and uh, the part where he, he comes downstairs and he steps on Scuba Steve, bro, and he goes, <laughs> Scuba Steve, damn you. <laughs> and it's like literally, I, me and my brother, the first time, I, I think we rented it probably, first time watching it, it's like something we, we took the, the VHS and just, you know, rewound it probably three or four times and just cried laughing. I mean, we were younger kids too, but like even to this day watching that movie, bro, it's just countless laughs. You remember the part in that movie where he, uh, it's his first night with Julian and he goes to put him down for bed mm-hmm. and he's like, I can't go to sleep. And he's like, oh, you need a nightlight? Yeah. <laughs> and he goes and turns the nightlight <laughs> yeah. on. Live, Live news. news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And even funnier, like the next morning, he, he pissed the bed or whatever, and he like yeah. just throws him on some newspaper, and then all you hear for like the next uh-huh. 10 minutes of him trying to sleep <laughs> is just him crunching the newspaper. <laughs> all right, I'm up. <laughs> I have a feeling that's what we're going to be doing with my daughter in a little bit, just putting yeah. her on some newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> Man, classic movie right there. Oh, uh, what else do we want to – before we, we have a whole – what we do with these episodes is we have like a like a beginning – Mm-hmm. a middle and an end yeah and like with these episodes we're gonna have like fun trivia and stuff like that there's just so much we can talk about before we get into this stuff though is there something that we're missing you t- you said yours you said yours i thought you would say the wedding singer such a banger too, bro. it's right there but if i had to pick gun to my head just 50 first dates yeah. and there's there's so many funny parts even in that movie like we rewatched so it. I, that's why I texted the group chat. I was like, yeah. "Wedding singers, it's it's so good. Oh, it's yeah, so dude. good, so underrated, though." Yeah. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess we can. <laughs> she just giving me that she death did. stare. Oh, yeah. I guess we can go ahead and get into the writings. Yep. The writings. Adam Sandler is an acclaimed American actor, comedian, writer, and producer. Who has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for his unique brand of humor and versatile acting skills, Sandler has built a successful career spanning over three decades. Okay, so I promise you guys listening, uh, we are not going through an earthquake. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Eat your chips. Stop it. Scuba Steve's going crazy. Yeah, she just stomped Scuba Steve out for hurting her foot. So. Milo's going to be the star of the episode. Uh, no, it's just, it is yeah, it this is, is going to be one of those ones like where people like, People like listening to the episodes. <laughs> They're like, we're watching this shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have to watch it. It's a shit show. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, so sorry if I uh, punch my kid in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you are not. I'll, Anyways. I'll blur it out. He was born on September 9th, 1966 in Brooklyn, New York. Sandler developed his passion for comedy at a young age. He first gained recognition as a cast member on the popular sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live or SNL. In the early 1990s, Sandler's comedic talent and ability to recreate memorable characters quickly made him a fan favorite. I did not realize he was older than my dad. Yeah, Yeah. she, Erica, also didn't know he was on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, he was really funny on Saturday Night Live. He was like the superstar of Saturday Night Live. Okay, um, we had to take a short little break. Short little break. Special guest joining us today. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please welcome Mrs. Holly Little Barry Barry. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get back into these uh, Adam Sandler. The Adam Sandler. Following his success on Saturday Night Live, Sandler transitioned to the big screen where he truly solidified his status as a comedic icon. He gained widespread acclaim for his roles in movies such as Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, and The Waterboy. These films showcase Sandler's unique blend of physical comedy, witty one-liners, and endearing charm, which resonated with audiences worldwide. Three of the greatest movies of all time. One of the defining features of Sandler's career's ability is his ability to balance comedic roles with more dramatic performances. In movies like Punch Drunk Love and Rain Over Me, he demonstrated his range as an actor by portraying complex and emotionally nuanced characters. These performances earned him critical acclaim and showcased his versatility beyond his comedic persona. I've never seen Rain Over Me or Punch Drug Love. Mm-mm. I wonder, do you know what they're about? I think Rain Over I feel Me. Like I've seen all of them, but I can't remember. I think Rain Over Me is the one with Don Cheadle in it, and yeah, Adam and Sandler like, had a wife that died in 9 11. Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. It's a really good movie. I just, I wasn't sure if that was a yeah. one. But I, we need to watch that, Eric. That's Rain a Over good Me. Movie. It's like a draw, like it's, it's like a serious movie, but. 
Sandler's wife like died on 9/11 and like he's like a sad. sad he com- guy. yeah he comes like he becomes like really withdrawn and like can't even go out in public and like uh, he wears like headphones and he can't he's just yeah. like not comfortable around people and like it, he helps him like he like pulls him out of it by the end of it. It's a really good movie, but um, just kind of to touch on those three that we I mean I I said earlier you got Billy Madison in 1995, Happy Gilmore in 96, and then Waterboy in 98. Like that's you, I mean, now you can't even get you know three or four comedies in a year releasing. And, and to what have I'm, those three movies in just that three year span? Just three insane. of probably, and this might not sound like great, but it's insanely good if you think of like the wide span look of it. Mm-hmm. Probably three of the top one hundred movies ever made. Oh yeah, definitely. top one hundred movies. Yeah, probably three be. of the top one hundred. Yeah, I would. Easily you could argue that. that all three, like all three of them, could be in there for sure. Yeah. In addition to his acting prowess, Sandler has proven himself as a successful producer and writer. He founded his own production company, Happy Madison Productions, which has produced numerous films, including many of Sandler's own projects. Through his production company, he has given opportunities to emerging comedic talents and has created a platform for his unique band of brand of humor. While Sandler's films have received mixed reviews from critics over the years, his ability to connect with audiences cannot be denied. He has a dedicated fan base that has proven <laughs> that appreciates his signature style of comedy, which often includes elements of slapstick humor, absurd situations, and memorable ca- memorable catchphrases. Sandler's movies often tackle relatable themes such as family, friendship, and personal growth, resonating with viewers on an emotional level. He brought a lot of people up with him with Happy Madison. That's what I was going to touch on because that was one thing we haven't really talked about at all is just how... Even even the guys that were with him from the beginning, how he's always just kept that same group of guys and always All gave him roles in every mm-hmm. single movie mm-hmm. that he's been in and even gave a lot of them guys lead roles in, in movies he wasn't in but were produced by Happy Madison. I, I believe a lot of those uh, Rob Schneider films were Happy Madison yeah, films. I think The Animal was. I'm not sure if Deuce Bigelow and them were. I'm not sure. But, but I mean, Grandma's Boy was. You could say a lot of like he gave a lot of those guys their start to where they eventually yeah. blew up themselves and were able to go get their own roles even through different production companies. I just learned today that Rob Schneider plays in... Uh, Chuck and Larry. Yeah, Chuck and Larry. I didn't know that until today. He's the uh, so you yeah, remember he's the, Chuck, he's, he's the, the dude Chinese who guy. Chinese yeah. guy. Yeah, would have yeah. never known. I feel like a circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be a hundred doll hairs. That's a lot of doll hairs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's another. We just I I turned that on the other day. That that movie's hilarious, bro. <sighs> Doctor Honey, Doctor Honey. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the stuff in that movie probably wouldn't fly today, but that movie absolutely yeah. not, dude. Yeah, we were we watched it what two days ago. Yeah, I didn't. And I was like, all the way through. I was like, I felt like I don't want to sound ridiculous saying this, yeah. but I felt uneasy watching that movie. Yeah, like, just the way the world is now, bro. Yeah. Like not like, bro. He would have got canceled for sure if it was the way it is now. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's kind of you know to touch on that what I just said a minute ago. That's why you don't even see comedies anymore period bro like because you just you can't do that stuff anymore bro everybody's so sensitive Mm -hmm. beyond his film career sandler is also an accomplished musician he has released several uh, comedy albums showcasing his musical talent and further expanding his creative repertoire some of his most famous songs such as the hanukkah song have become cult classics and are beloved by fans in recent years, Sandler has continued to evolve as an artist, taking on more challenging and diverse projects. His performance in crime thriller Uncut Gems garnered critical acclaim and earned him a widespread praise for his dramatic portrayal. The role show- showcased Sandler's ability to captivate audiences in a non-comedic setting and solidified his reputation as a talented actor. We were talking before the show. We have to watch Uncut Gems. Yeah, that's one I haven't made it to yet, man. But yeah. I've heard it's such a great movie, and he act- absolutely killed it, man. There's several Sandler movies that I haven't seen that I need to watch. Uh, the Cobbler. That's a good one. I haven't bro. seen that's a the good Cobbler movie, yet. and I, that was one that I kind of slept on, and I just one day threw it on. I might have rented it out of Redbox, bro. Like back when that first started popping. Is it a comedy? Like, yeah, it's it's a comedy, but it's like one of those ones where it's it's got that like heartfelt like, yeah meaning a yeah. meaningful thing kind of a family vibe to it it's a good movie man yeah speaking of his music i was this Phone close wallet. 
to having I Want to Grow Old With You is our wedding song. Yeah. And that's it's that close. I wonder if that's a... Uh, if that's an original song he wrote. It is. Is it really? That's you can awesome. look it. You can download it Dude, on Apple Music. That's a banger. Like, you can download it on it's Apple on Music. On my Apple Music. He could have wrote that for like a like. I'm not saying he's not a real artist, but you could have wrote that for somebody like. He can sing. Just, mm-hmm. He can. He can. But like you could, you could have wrote that for like a, a a huge pop artist or something, yeah. bro. Like yeah. and let them sing it. If someone commented on our. Uh, on like our like a reveal thumbnail that he can literally just stand in a theater and just come up with a song and it's a hit. Oh, like yeah. you go listen to those early phone wallet albums, keys. Bro. Like a lot of his stand up was just in like he would do jokes, but it would just be you know kind of a segue into the next like comedic song, bro. Like he's got so many that are funny, like piece of shit car, the Hanukkah song, obviously. Um, he's the goat. Dude. He's got the one, and I think one of his more recent stand-ups. I mentioned it before the show, where he's talking about uh, he does. It's like a hip hop song, and he does the phone wallet keys. Like yep. I still, I I just told them before the show. Like I used to do that in my bread truck all the time because I'd always <laughs> leave my my uh, headphones or my wallet or something in in my uh, bread truck, and that's something I would do every time I got out of the truck wallet. before I close the door. I'd be like phone <laughs> wallet keys. Every time I leave, I got my phone wallet keys. <laughs> Adam Sandler's impact on popular culture cannot be overstated. His unique comedic style, relatable characters, and genuine charisma have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. While his films may not always be critically acclaimed, they consistently entertain and bring joy to millions of fans worldwide. In conclusion, Adam Sandler is a multifaceted multifaceted. Entertainer. We talked about that. I know too. we talked about that. <laughs> I know. And I still goofed Tap it up. Tap into it. Okay. Tap in. It's all right. In conclusion, Adam Sandler is a multifaceted <laughs> entertainer <laughs> who has achieved remarkable success in the film industry. His ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama, coupled with his relatable characters and memorable performances, have made him a household name. Sandler's enduring popularity is a testament to his talent and his ability to connect with audiences on a personal level. We have another guest joining you know, the show today. Speaking of, uh, that was like when in the Water Boy when, when Bobby Boucher showed up at halftime and Mud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl. Goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> I would be curious to know how many of his scenes are improv and they're like, you know what? It's good. Let's go with it. Well, a lot of those guys. A lot like we were talking about a little bit ago, a lot of the same actors in all the movies. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't surprise me if like seventy five percent of that of shit is, is just improv. They they're just they just like go with it. I would love to just like watch behind the scenes, like yeah. deleted scenes and shit like awesome. that. So we are going to do some Adam Sandler trivia. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do. Okay. So this isn't isn't gonna be like one of those like gotcha type things. Yeah. You, you and you are gonna work as a team. Dream team. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a question, right? And then to help, it's going to be multiple choice. And so you guys can talk about it. Like, I'm going to ask the question, get the multiple choice, and then you guys can decide on the answer. I'll if like I had it. the soundboard close to me, I'd do the want, want, but I'll do that just myself. That's okay. all good. Yeah. I think I got like eight or nine questions. These are good ones. These are good ones. All it's right. going to start off easy. And okay. then get a little bit harder. See, I think we're gonna be all right because okay. Erica, I feel like she's gonna be good. In the she, areas Erica's I'm, got the I'm romance not good ones. Good with like the little Nikki stuff. I'm good with those. Eric, all the ones daddy. that are like super. That's why I decided comedy. to make it a team. I'm good with yeah. the big daddy one. There's a big. Da- there's, a, <laughs> there's one big daddy one in there, and it's a it's a good one. Okay, okay. It's a good one. let's get it. Okay. In the movie, okay. The Wedding Singer, what song does Robbie sing to Julie on the plane? Oh, I yeah. want to be old with you. Yeah, we just talked. I don't even need yeah, multiple yeah. choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one was quick. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. All right. Let's uh, go through the options. I'll be there. Wait for you. Let's make babies. We're <laughs> old with you. <laughs> I'd like to hear Let's Make Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? I'm saying yeah. Let's Make Babies. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be hilarious. <laughs> if you All ever right. see this, Adam, go ahead and tap in on that one. <laughs> so we got the round of applause right there. All right. In the movie, The Water Boy. Okay. What kind of car does LT have parked in the parking lot? <laughs> what is this? Okay. A, Garrett already knows already that. Know. <laughs> oh, I forgot A, it's multiple choice. A, Porsche. B, Cadillac. C, Mercedes. You have to say the line. Okay. Or D, Lambo. All right, Vicky Valencourt goes. Or, okay, so uh, the water boy, Bobby Boucher, walks over to Vicky Valencourt, uh, Vicky Valencourt, who's sitting over on the picnic table across <laughs> from uh, LT's... Um, 
I think he's doing a camp or something, or he's yeah. just doing a, a talk or something. And he goes, Vicky Valancourt, what are you doing here? And she, he goes, uh, she, or she goes, oh, I'm just thinking about stealing LT's Porsche over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. Just stealing LT's Porsche yeah. over there. <laughs> Do you know who I and wish I had? Uh, who I wish we had for this episode, okay. just for the um, impressions and the lisps. Mm, who? I just want you to take a wild guess. Impressions and lisps. They they're they're really good at lisping. Lip. 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 Or, or recreating what accents. Vicka Vanco. Fuck, you? I don't know. Brittany. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say Kenny, but then I'd have felt bad. Oh, <laughs> you gotta cut that out. I ain't cutting that out. <laughs> cut out Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the movie Big Daddy. Okay. Kind of a tricky go, one. Tiff, yeah, I think Garrett knows this one. I think Garrett knows this one, okay. but this one's a, it's not super hard, but it's not super easy either. Okay. okay. They get a little harder. In the movie Big Daddy, how many pieces of cheesecake? Does the CPS worker always order? <laughs> oh, what? So think about the scene. Okay, so the scene is the small so when the don't pay attention so to. when the so when the CPS oh, worker goes right. to take Julian, yeah, right, and he knocks on the door. Rob Schneider's the delivery guy. Yeah, and he goes, he walks up and he sees the CPS worker at the door. He goes, Oh, I know you. You always order blank piece of cheesecake. Okay, what's that? Looks like this. He goes. Oh, I know you. You are. You always order. Is it A, three, B, two, C, six, or D, five? Do you know? I know you. You always order a blank the piece of cheesecake. Three came to my mind first, but okay. I'm not. What do you think, babe? Great with Big Daddy. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Okay. Five. No. Wrong again. Two. It is three it pieces is three. of cheesecake. Three. Yeah, I know you. You order three pieces of cheesecake. He said, and the dude's he like. He says it like sheesh cake. You always, <laughs> you always order three pieces of sheesh cake. <laughs> and the, the CPS worker's like. Yeah. <laughs> Ashamed. God. When I was a kid, I never, even, I didn't even understand what he was saying. I was like, what, what is sheesh cake? <laughs> sheesh cake. Yeah, I used to be like, I would say it just like that and had no clue he was saying cheesecake so I got older. Okay. You guys are two for two. Good right. job. Go team. We're three All for right. three, actually. Is that three? Yeah, oh, we that is did three. the wedding yeah. singer one, Mickey but we Valen just talked about yeah. over there. Yeah. What kind of animal does Henry Roth train in Fifty First Dates? Is it A. Dolphins, B. Sea lions, C. Sharks, or D. Penguins? Sea lion. It's sea lion. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sea yeah. lion. <laughs> four for four. Four for four. Sharks. He's hilarious in that movie. He's so yeah. So that and that that's another dude. He's a really good actor. Bro. Oh, the penguins. The range, I was the thinking of Billy Madison. That that Adam Sandler. Is yeah. that Billy? Adam Sandler. Penguins are also in Fifty First Dates, uh, are they? Aren't they? Who? Penguins are in Fifty First Dates. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And Billy Madison, right? And Billy Madison. Because he yeah. sees him. He sees him. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's I was, like. Yeah. I was talking about yeah, the. Uh, I know that's Adam Sandler. I was talking about the the brother. What's the brother's name in real life? Oh, uh, the one that has the lisp in the. Check out these glutes. Yeah, yeah, that dude. <laughs> I was trying to think of his name. He's he's like in Stranger Things. He yeah. was in. Uh, uh, yeah, he's the Lord uh, of the Rings. He's old girls. Google it, Bob. Yeah, he's I didn't, Bob in Stranger Things. I didn't realize right he was in Bob in yeah. Stranger yeah. Things. He's a, he's also in Lord of the Rings. He plays uh, uh Sam. Sam. Yeah. 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 Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> All right. I gotta look up his name. So I don't Keep think going. the girls are gonna be able to get this one. They might, but I think. And he played Rudy. One. Yeah. In the movie Little Nicky, mm. who plays Nicky's mom as an angel in heaven? <laughs> Is it A. Reese Witherspoon, B. Drew Barrymore, C. Eliza Dushku? She was so hot. I'm sorry, Elijah Dusku. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Uh, uh, do you know? Remember, Bring It On. Yeah. It's so the it's the chick that, that it's the chick that Kirsten Dunst recruits, yeah. like the dark hair. Remember, chick. she has like the oh. Bring It On. Yeah. 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 And D, okay. Kirsten Dunst. It's A. A. Reese Witherspoon really? is little Nikki's mom. Yeah. Yep. Satan was getting it on with the angel. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. His mom used to be a goat. That's what they said. Yeah, that dude's name is uh, Sean Aston. Sean Aston. Yeah. That dude's a great actor. Yeah. He's a great actor. Shout out actor. to Sean Aston. All right. And I pronounce you Chuck and Larry. What is the nickname of the doctor Chuck picks up at the hospital? <laughs> you already said that. Is it A. Doctor Gorgeous? <laughs> B, Dr. Beautiful, C, Dr. Honey, 
or D, Dr. Sweetheart? He already said it. Do you guys C. remember? C, Dr. C, Dr. Honey. Yeah. Dr. Honey, Dr. you remember Dr. Honey? Dr. Honey. Dr. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Who untied you? That movie it's starts like... out so funny, too. Uh, they're playing basketball, and she's like, Chuck, you had, you're a pig. You had sex with my twin sister. <laughs> He's like, well, how do you know? He's like, because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> From the from the movie, you hold it Billy Madison, fill in the blank. You aren't cool if you don't <laughs> a smoke cigs, b poop your pants, <laughs> c pick your nose, or d pee your pants. That should have been the first one. I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys guess first. I already know the answer. Is it B? Pee, pee your pants. Oh, you ain't cool if you don't yeah. pee your pants. Pee your pants. Yeah. <laughs> then the lady, the old lady goes, well if. Pee in your pants is cool. Consider me Miles Davis. Because <laughs> she pisses her pants a lot, apparently. Right, this is an easy one, too. In the movie, The Longest Yard, what famous rapper played for the Mean Machines? A, Nelly. B, Ja Rule. C, 50 Cent. Or D, DMX. A. It's Legit. It's A, Nelly. 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 Yep. Yes, sir. There's a lot of... Good actors Super in that Super famous movie. people. Michael that Irvin, Great Khali, Stone Cold. That's how a white man runs a football. <laughs> <laughs> Walks up to Nelly and says, that's how a white man runs a football. Oh, my God, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm not good with the quotes. Either. There's a At lot all. Of, that's there's a all lot he does. That's he my whole life. Nose. Carl, too. I made him shit himself. He said, he said <laughs> Paul, he broke in my nose. He did it on purpose. He's like, no, Big he did. And the dudes over there are like, <laughs> Big yeah, seven foot dude. He's him. like, all right, well maybe he did. Yeah, it's got that's got uh Burt Reynolds. Yeah. It's got Brucey in it. It's got uh Chris Rock. Yeah, it's at the beginning it's got um dude from ESPN. Uh Patrick uh Patrick uh Dan Patrick. Dan that, is, is it Dan, Dan Patrick? Patrick? Maybe. Fuck, I don't know. One of the old ESPN dudes was in it. Cause Last. He, he laughs at the dude. He, remember, he's got the big ears and he's clowning him when they pull him over. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is Dan Patrick. In the movie, Happy Gilmore, what actor plays the caretaker for his grandmother in the home she's put in while her house is sold? Is it A, Owen Wilson, B, Ben Stiller, C, Kevin James, or D, Rob Schneider? Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. I was going to say yeah. B. Ben Stiller. It is Ben Stiller. He's a Douchebag in that movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You guys got all of them I'll right. A, I'll take a warm that glass. All of them? Of them? That's all of them. I should have made that a little Hold bit on. harder. Okay, That's so right. I have like a list of all of the movies that this okay. dude has starred in. Okay, so Going Overboard in 1989. I haven't seen that. Shakes the Clown. I didn't realize he was in Coneheads. Coneheads. Airheads. Mixed to Nuts. Billy Madison. Happy Gilmore. Then he runs off an insane. This this run right here is insane. Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Bulletproof. Do you remember Bulletproof? Yep, yeah, yeah, with uh, Damon uh, Wayans. Damon Wayans, yeah. The Wedding Singer, The Water Boy, Big Daddy, Little Nicky, The Animal, Mr. Deeds, Punk Drug Love, Eight Crazy Nights, <laughs> Anger Management, Fifty First States, Spanglish, The Longest Yard, Click. Forgot Clicks about Click. Click. Forgot great about movie. Click. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. You don't mess with the Zohan. Fire. <laughs> Fire. That movie. The hair dresser. <laughs> bedtime stories. I've not seen bedtime stories, but I've heard it's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Funny people. Grown ups. Grown- just go with it. Jack and Jill. That's my boy. That's so good. Have you seen That's My Boy? Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Hotel Transylvania. Grown ups too. Blended. You can't. Men. Women and Children, which I've never seen that. The Cobbler, Pixels, The Ridiculous Six, Transylvania, The Do Over. The Ridiculous Six. I, was, I haven't seen that. That's yet. crazy. Is that a cartoon? No, no. that's the uh, movie that's it's like a like, Western it's movie. It's like the Western that's on uh, isn't, Netflix. Isn't Transylvania? Transylvania is the cartoon. cartoon. They did like three of those. Mm. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Murder I Mystery. He was in the animal. He does like he does the water boy mm-hmm. character, but he plays it instead of that? it's like Rob Schneider's character. Mm. Oh, you can do it! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is Murder Mystery two out yet? Murder Mystery yeah. two's yeah, out. Oh, we haven't out watched recently. that. Yet. I haven't watched that one. The, the first, first one was good. Really good, yeah. Jenna, shout out Jennifer Aniston. Man, Uncut <laughs> Chins. What? <laughs> always. <laughs> always. Hubie <laughs> Halloween and Hotel. Another Hotel Transylvania. Hubie. 
Hubie. Okay, shout out Adam Sandler Man, for making our up. lives so much better. That's crazy. Just the running, literally. I mean, even to this day, everything he puts out is on a miss. Like I still gotta, Thank you. I still gotta catch uncut gems. I, I need to go back and watch some of the ones like before he really got like super super famous. I didn't, uh, I'm trying to think where he's at in the Airheads, but I've only seen that a couple times. I don't remember where he's at in Airheads. I don't remember where he's at in Boneheads. Oh, Airheads! Airheads is the where they're a band, right? Yeah, like yeah, he's the, one of the, the band members. He's yeah. one of the main characters, and I, I was thinking uh, Coneheads. When I was what I meant to say. People, people always forget about anger management. That's a good one too. Like she hasn't seen it. Yeah, that's funny, bro. Like with Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson's like a psycho in that movie. The chick that plays Adam Sandler's <laughs> wife in that movie. Jeez, Christ! You know what I'm talking about? Uh-uh. It's the uh, you know who it is. Carl is gonna be killed today. No, absolutely not. Tiffany absolutely not. Beauty she Beauty literally Beauty shared Beauty. the a post, the the post, and said, "My husband in another life." <laughs> like, <laughs> I ain't getting killed today. That's okay, funny. so this was like the uh, fun episode. Oh yeah, bro. We're about to go on a run of very serious episodes. Yeah, because and then it's about to get spooky. On yeah, it. next week is a very serious true crime episode that yeah. kind of hits close to home. Yeah, for us, yeah. like it's mm-hmm. been covered nationally, but it's. What an hour away from us? Yeah, an hour, hour, hour and a half, half, probably. Yeah, yeah. And then it's spooky season. Then it's spooky season. Next week we are doing the Delphi murders. Yes, the snap, also known as the Snapchat murders. Some new stuffs come out about that. They might have a guy. Yeah, we'll we'll get some posts put up. Maybe get some opinions on that. I think that's probably a good idea. Get some opinions on that, like we did for this one. Yeah, there's a lot of things in that case that went. That's just bizarre. Yeah, like. It sucks too. Definitely. Um, we still don't know. And there's not really a, a light at the end of the tunnel for that one either. So. Well, they have a guy. Yeah, but they have a like, guy, but who really knows at this yeah, point? Yeah, yeah. It's one of them things. Like, what's it, like first forty eight? If they don't figure it out in like that real quick period, like, you don't know if it's a hundred percent. So we'll mm-hmm. see. After that spooky month, um, subscribe, follow the Please, Spotify. All those. Subscribe. The pages are growing pretty quick. So Pages are doing great. Get with us or get lost. I mean, I think the girls are going to be on the next few, at least. Yeah, I think you guys will probably be on every episode for Spooky Month, right? I would imagine, yeah. I, I mean, hope so. Those especially Delphi. Ones. Spooky Month. Do we want to reveal anything about Spooky Month yet? Mm-mm. No, I think we're good. No, I think we're good. I think we just keep along the same path of just like maybe announcing like a couple days before. Yeah. Delphi murders next week. Shout out Adam Sandler. Man, big Thanks time. for all the love on the page. He's got to be like, he's got to be like my favorite actor of all time, probably. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I and mean, there's a lot of good actors, but as far as like Co- comedic, for sure. For Hands sure. Hands down. But, I mean, just think all the movies that you just love by that dude. Is there That's another true. actor that you're just like, damn, the only, every movie that he comes out The only like, one I, I can know. think of would be DiCaprio. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, that's the only dude. That'll I be can another think episode of. we got to do down the line. Yep, DiCaprio, uh, Leo DiCaprio. That'd be a good Oh, yeah, episode. for sure. We can do a Denzel episode. episode. Like, oh, no, we're going to have we're gonna have an endless comedy. Algorithm. Algorithm, baby. What does Zozo say? He said, uh, This is Lozo, and you're tuned into the Algorithm podcast. And goddamn right. Up, like a goddamn <laughs> scary movie. What is that? That's where I'm ending it. I just keep wanting to say, The Goddamn Jets. The God-